Hey guys, it's Kush, and welcome to my mini game series. I'm not sure which number is this is because Jagged screwed up the whole site and everything, so I don't know what number this is. Um, this week's episode is fishing trawler. Now, if you don't know what the fishing, uh, the mini game series I'm doing is, is basically I go over every mini game on RuneScape because there's a lot of mini games that people don't know about, and there's lots that I don't know about. So I'm gonna go over each and every one of them and give a brief, brief description of what they are and what to do in it, and like my opinion and everything on them. So since the JX site changed and everything, I had to find the mini game section. It's pretty hard, and they split it up to split it to two different things: multiplayer and single single player. So we're gonna alternate between each of these and do one of them at a time. Let's start with the multiplayer ones. Um, this is the multiplayer ones and the single player ones. So we've done all these up to here. We're at the fishing trial right now, and the official world for this is 116. Now this is the official world, but there are not many people playing this game and it's pretty rare to find a game unless you can solo it which is pretty hard I'll explain what to do so what you want to do is teleport to Ardugan and just run straight down south from here so what you're gonna want to do is teleport straight from the center of the uh, Ardugan and come straight down here just keep going straight down keep going straight down until you reach Port Kazar and this is where the fishing trawler takes place and as you can see this is just called a trawler Alright, so once you come down here, you want to talk or trade to the shopkeeper, then there's going to be a bunch of stuff. Now, this stuff over here isn't very expensive. Uh, you want to buy about, don't buy the normal buckets, buy about 5 of the bailing buckets, 10 ropes, and about 200 swamp paste would do per uh, trip. Uh, it, as you can see, it only cost me about 7k. So, once you get that, uh, you may want to buy a few more ropes, but that's up to you. I'm just going to buy them just in case. Um you come over here to the actual fishing trawler there was a person right there and they went and I asked them to do it with me this isn't a very popular mini game so just get on board now once you get down there's gonna be a one minute time limit uh, for when it starts and I'll start recording when that happens alright guys so once you once the game starts it'll say a trawler will leave in 10 seconds so it's gonna do the little uh, shippy thing, I guess. I don't know. How to, I don't know what that is, but you guys, um, this is the interface that comes up. It doesn't really matter. I'll explain what this is. Now, this is the water level that's going to be on your boat. If it gets to full, your ship will sink and you'll have to restart. The activity timer, if you don't do anything until that runs out, you will fail and you'll get kicked out of the mini game. So, as you can see, the leaks are already coming in. So, since you have the swamp paste, you can just fill the leak. Just click on it. That's that part. Now, you'll notice that there's gonna be uh, yeah just keep filling it there will be a lot of water coming in and it will get quite annoying sorry and once your boat or the water level gets to a certain height you this will the water will come in on the ship and you'll see it's all blue and everything that's when the bailing buckets will come in and net is ripped down you can see over here it says net ripped this is when I come in uh, as you can see the water levels yeah it's high so once you have the ropes in your inventory just click come over here if I can find where the net is there's no net here oh, it was on the other side so come over here inspect the net and you can see it just fixes automatically just inspect it then go back down again and there's gonna be a bunch of water down there so there's gonna be some people fixing the holes and some people bailing so what you want to do is click on the most bottom bucket you have just spam click it out um, yeah, that's basically it. Just spam click. It'll start filling up the buckets from the top and uh, come to the bottom. And once they're all full, it'll start emptying them itself. Um, as you can see, the dude with the smithing cape is fixing the patches, and the dude with the heraldic cape, I think that's what it's called, he's bailing with me. This is a teamwork minigame. You may be able to solo it, but it's really difficult, and I think the game lasts for like 10 minutes? I don't know. It doesn't last for too long, but. It gives decent fishing XP not worth like actually fishing I mean you can't you can train fishing with this but it won't be as effective as just fishing normally and the rewards at the end are quite good now I hope this video is not gonna be too long because I drag videos on forever and the nets ripped again so I come up inspect the fishing trawler fix it itself go back down and start bailing uh, as you can see yep the dude's still patching away I didn't have to use my swamp paste. I think so. Yeah, swamp paste, because he's already patching it. Net, 
net ripped again. That's interesting. Go up, leg. Oh, you got... Okay, it doesn't matter. We're on the team. It's not a competition. It's just a teamwork activity. If he fixed it, that's good for him. I was doing it anyways. Um, it's over here. It tells you the time left and the fish is caught. The actual 14 fishes, I will not get all 14 fishes. It will be divided between three people. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. This is intense because the dude who was supposed to be fixing the leaks, his swamp pace ran out, so I'm being forced to do all three now. I have to fix this crap when I'm done. I have to bail the buckets, and when the net's broken, that's my job too, so I'm doing all three things. That's basically all you gotta do for this mini game. Um, whichever you have, you just do. If you have the uh, swamp pace in your inventory, you can go ahead and patch up the leaks. If you have the nets, I mean the ropes, you can fix the net up there. And if you have the bailing buckets, you can bail the water. Bailing the water, it's probably... Oops. Yeah, just make sure once you go up, you actually wait for the animation to occur. And to say, okay, when this... What the heck? Yeah, it said okay that time. Um, yeah. I guess I'm doing all three now. And I'll show you guys the rewards at the end. The fishes are just going up dramatically. I mean, we have so much fish. But remember, it's going to be divided into three, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure it is. And that ripped again. Dang. This is minutes left but, but that's the good part I guess mm, this mini game is quite irritating and um, I'm pretty sure that you have to do this for some not quest I think it's oh you have to do this for the achievement diary you have to play this at least once for the uh, Ardugan achievement diary I think it is yeah maybe it's the Yano one but either one you have to do it and it's still pretty hard to do because this mini game is outdated they need to update some stuff they actually added some rewards in a few uh, while ago I'll go over that later on and once you have once the water level gets really down the water will be all gone so that's a good thing I guess we have some good teammates it, trio it works perfectly fine I mean solo it's not that hard I mean it is pretty hard but duo is probably not that hard trio works perfectly fine as you saw just just as long as all the people are doing work you can do it pretty easily and less than one minute left pretty excited about ending this finally this is one of the type of mini games that I really don't enjoy because not many people play it there's other mini games like this I'm pretty sure but I'm gonna need some help if you guys I don't know if you guys like have done cabin, fe cabin fever quest I think it is I may need some help with that one because not many people play that but yeah I'll start recording when it ends and it ended once it ends you'll just go back from the shipyard or wherever you were and then you'll travel back to there alright so once it ends you'll be spawned out here and then you have to inspect the trawler net to see your loot now depending on your uh, okay that's pretty bad ooh sea turtle now depending on your fishing level you can get manta rays what oh snap I have 81 fishing I did not know that you can just drag your items you want to bank. I'll withdraw them actually just to price check them. It's not going to be too much. Just, just close it. Doesn't matter. Uh, once you close it, all the ones that you didn't withdraw will be dropped. So keep that in mind. Now, this mini game isn't too profitable, but unless you have, as you can see, that was only like 36k. But if you go to your fishing tab and you go to other, not other, mini games, and actually go to the catches and go down to tiger sharks now this can only be caught in the fishing trawler um actually tiger sharks you can only get one tiger shark per about like one to five trips so it is recommended if you're gonna want to buy some high level food you go for rock tails because this really isn't worth it the mini game you get decent xp and there is still other stuff that you get now there is uh, some xp things you'll get you can activate it and um, you'll get XP, more XP from the end round. I should have done that, and it's not too big actually. Another thing you can get is the shark tooth. You can add that to a necklace. You'll need like 90 when crafting for it, and once you do that, it gives you more XP when fishing sharks. That's all. I'm pretty sure it does. It doesn't do too much extra. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you, I don't know, some people may want to help with my. Most harmless video. Um, I'm I forget what it's called, but I'll probably tell you guys when. It's not going to be anytime soon, but it will be pretty soon though. So, thanks, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, bye.